Welcome everyone to Successful Toy Podcast. A big thank you to our audience watching on Facebook and YouTube and to those tuning in on WWRCK Radio, Spotify, Listen Notes, Amazon Music, Samsung Podcast, and Podcasts Index. Your support means the world to us and we're thrilled to have you join us. Let's dive into today's special episode. Hey y'all, I'm back with another Hey, I got my girl Alicia. Alicia. Am I saying your name right? No, it's okay. It's Alicia. See, I Everybody says Alicia. Alicia. <laughs> hey, I was on her podcast yeah. three years ago. <laughs> so we here again. Never have I ever. So I don't know if you guys watched the Never Have I Ever game for season two, but this game, the 21 questions with a twist. So if we've done it and we have to tell y'all the backstory, if we haven't done it, then we don't take a shot. We move forward. Thinking game. I want to let y'all know it is sponsored by Touch Vodka. And you can click the link in my bio to get you a bottle, grab you a bottle. It do sneak up on you. I'm telling you now, it sneaks up on you. So with that being said, I got mine and my success. Are you successful? Um, little wine glass, but baby, I'm using this for the look of the day. So Oh my God, I'm sorry. This thing is a little laggy. I don't know why. What do you say, hon? I say, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Never have I ever gone skydiving. You said drink if you did do it or haven't. It wasn't laggy when I came on, so it's crazy. It's being laggy now. And it's like, I see our pictures going like this. Sink. But skydiving? No, I haven't done it. I know this okay, is okay. laggy as hell. Like, I do not know why. <laughs> Never have I ever traveled outside of my home country. Damn, that's embarrassing. You ain't never traveled, girl. No, like, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> so like... I been uh, countries that I don't been to. I mean, I've been to Mexico. That's the only country I've been to. But I plan on, wait, I don't think Hawaii is a country. Okay, well, I went to Mexico. I part of the U.S., and I didn't know that till recently, so... Yeah, I was supposed to go work over there on a cruise ship in Hawaii. And my whole thing is, if it's part of the U.S., then why do I need a passport? Oh, you need a passport for that? That's yeah, I needed, a pass I needed my passport in order to work on a cruise ship. And I'm like, why do I need my passport if Hawaii is the part of the United States? I'm going to be living. I was going to be living on a cruise ship. So what I need my passport for if it's part of the United States? Make it make sense. You don't. They just want to be nosy. Exactly. <laughs> never. No, I feel like I'm ashamed. I've never been out the country. That's so ashamed. But I'm young. Oh, well, you got plenty of life to live. Because, like, you only, like, what, 22? 25. I'm old. Girl, you had quarter of a century. You better get it together, honey. You better enjoy the world. <laughs> right. For the world. Life is never have I ever seen Sorry. Uh -huh. No, you're okay. Never have I ever stayed up all night watching a TV show. Oh, shit. All the time, baby. So it was one TV show. Everybody was talking about it. And I stayed up all night watching it. I think it was on Netflix. And I watched like 
every episode and when i tell you i started from season one to like season five and you it was like it was? i don't remember but it was so good and i stayed up yeah. literally all night until the next day watching that damn show have you seen game of thrones i'm not a fan <gasps> you're not a fan have you seen house of the dragon or no you said not a fan, not a fan. i named my dog after it but I ain't even gonna lie. I definitely stayed up. I'm a nerdy ass bitch too. The amount of time I stayed up watching Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> well, when I, you, when I was little now, I love Star Trek, but I haven't got back into it. But the Game of Thrones and stuff like that, like I just can't get into those type of stuff. I don't know why. I don't like that type of stuff. I'm more you know of a. Some people a say reality. it's just slow. Oh, what kind of reality, of reality TV do you like? Like I like um Love and Hip Hop. I like the Housewives. I like any I like reality. You say you can't? No, they just always so petty. I'm like, come on, bitches. I wish I was fucking rich like you. <laughs> yeah, okay, I like I that was... type of stuff. Like right now. Bad girls, I mean bad girls, baddies is my favorite right now. But like, bad girls club love... back in the day. Back in the days, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's kids. Yeah. I haven't watched the new um, baddies yet, but like the new season right now. But uh -huh, the yeah. Caribbean. Mm -hmm, I fuck with it though. Yeah. I want to yeah, fight I'm that. A, I'm a baddie. Tasiki. Who you want to fight? Nope. I would not fight Tasiki if they were like. Oh, I can say, girl, you see, you want to fight Tasiki? Baby, baby, I ain't even arguing with Tasiki. What's up? I won't even look her way unless she wants. I so, swear to God, <laughs> <laughs> girl, you can buy. Bought me. I'm not gonna fight you, girl. Who? Cool. I don't even want to argue. My with teeth you. out. She break my nose. Let me be like, damn. <laughs> and I ain't scared of nobody, but bitch, I ain't stupid. Bitch, I pick. I know how to pick my battles. Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> yeah, I tell everybody every day. Unless you my mother, I'm really not scared of you. But that bitch, I am not fighting. I ain't no stupid bitch. Come <laughs> to stick and go eat. She eat right, every like, time, eat me. Nah, bitch, I ain't, bitch. I ain't seen her lose a fight, not yet, bitch. What happened? Teach you me. got to see you fucked up, right? <laughs> and I love when she I love her saying lesson. like she need to trademark that. She need to trademark that. You want to be a star? I will make you a star, <laughs> right? Yo, when she was like I love um, beating the one bitches shit. up. I wish they would have showed Ooh. us. I wish they would have let her like bop, bop, bop. I would have been like, yeah, let's get it. <laughs> I love watching people Never. fight. You watch, um, sorry, you watch um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta? Yes, that's my favorite. Me too. Who's your, they your the favorite? Like, mm -hmm. Who's your favorite? How do you feel about people in that? Um, The new cast members. I'm, I'm still stuck on the old ones. I ain't too much gravitated to the new ones yet. Like, I like Erica, but I haven't really, like, I can't say none of the new people is my favorite. Like, I love the old cast. Sometimes I feel like I only watch it for Scrappy because he, he looks like my ex. So when I look at him sometimes, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, damn, boy. Hey, should I call this nigga? What happened? <laughs> Do I take him off the unblock list right now? For real. No, <laughs> I, I always been a, I always been a Strappy fan. Even before Love and Hip Hop, when he first came out, like I always been a um Strappy fan from um Crime Mob, all that. Like I always been a Strappy fan. So of course he's my number one on there. And then I fell in love with his baby mama Erica from when he brought her on Love and Hip Hop. So I love I her. I think they're so cute together. Me too. And I love um I love Rashida. Definitely love Rashida. Um, I like Sierra. I love Sierra. Um, I don't know. I, sometimes I can't get behind her because sometimes I'm like, you kind of fake. You funny sometimes, but you look fake. You know what I mean? You think Sierra fake? Why do you think she's fake? Yeah. Why do you think Sierra? She just too, like, she kind of reminds me of Car Carly. They just kind of, they talk too much. <laughs> Carly is worse, but I can't say Carly has changed. She she ain't messy as she used to be. She too so old for all that. I, exactly. So I haven't. I'm okay with Carly, but I wouldn't say that she's one of my favorites on there. But 
I fucks with her, but it's like she done messed up her face so much to it's like oh my god, and mm. she was really pretty before. Yes, yes. So it's like now nah, I, I don't know. I just hate my girl. Have to Carly. I believe. Okay, this time look at Carly. This time explain Carly. Carly is mean. Like go from when I was dating niggas, like go from nigga to nigga to nigga. Like bitch, I ain't waiting. Bitch, you fuck up. I'm going to the next nigga. So yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. She look nasty, I ain't, I ain't. but she getting better, I guess, with age. Yeah. Yeah, she is. She she's straightening up a little bit. Never have I ever gone skinny dipping. No. Oh, oh I was gonna say, please tell. <laughs> I, never not yet. Shit. <laughs> Nobody ever wants. Never to have I These ever. These people are not fun. Uh, uh-uh, I ain't doing that. I don't care. I ain't doing it. I'm I'm very fun, it but I ain't like... doing. I don't want to get a UTI. That's my biggest thing. And some of those yeah, chips be dirty water, as hell. You say the water too dirty, baby. Uh-uh. Not for this nope. coochie. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever tried a food from a different culture and disliked it. The Susie cow? Susie? I can't say that shit. Was it? <laughs> yeah, that's from a different culture. That's from I a never different had it, but like I smelt it and I was like, ugh. It smells like dead fish. It smells <laughs> nasty as fuck. I said, the y'all only, like this? Ugh. The only um, sushi that I tried that I like is um, the, I just found out the name of it the other day. It's the California Rose. Because when we went to Mexico, um, they had gave us um, this sushi and it had the avocado in it, the crab, right? The crab, the shrimp, and I think it was rice. And that was really, really good. And I ain't even, I don't even eat avocado, but it was good. So I was like, I only want this type of sushi, but I never knew what it was or what the name of it. So I haven't had it since Mexico, but I found out the other day it's California rolls. So yeah. I want to try it again, but I want to try it when it's nice and fresh. Yeah, yeah. I can say you can't just eat sushi from anywhere. Uh uh-uh, uh. I tried. Like, would you eat like... sushi from a grocery store? Fuck no. Would you eat sushi from a grocery store? <laughs> Fuck no. I'll get some parasites from that shit. You're gonna be skinning a fucking. I'm gonna be shitting one day and you're gonna be seeing a long ass worm come out. I swear to God, I would faint. I wouldn't even know how to act. I'm not afraid of that. Mm mm. Mm-hmm. Oof, no. Never have I ever accidentally sent a text to the wrong person. Yup, every day of my fucking life. Yup, gets me in trouble every day of my life. Are you fucking serious? Okay, so not every day of my life. With me. <laughs> <laughs> I I was sending a text to my son, but sent it to the wrong person, and they was like, "Oh, I like huh?" They was they texting me like, "Huh." I was like, what the fuck they saying, huh? So when I opened up the test, I was like, oh, shit, that wasn't meant for you. And then they was like, oh, I thought you had my number saved. I'm like, bitch, your number is saved. But at the, in the midst of it, I was texting my son, so I don't even know how the fuck it got sent to you. But, yeah. Better than me. I don't so, keep uh, numbers. I don't keep numbers. They're all unsafe. Yeah, it's toxic. Yeah, that's why I get caught up. Like, why, I'm not going to the fuck lie. you don't save Please let us know why you don't save numbers. Because... These bitches are only hoes. They don't deserve to be saved in the phone. <laughs> I can't lie. I, I'm blocked for fast. They piss me off. I don't like men. Like, I like dig, but I don't like men, if that makes sense. So when they piss me off, I uh-huh. said, I'd be like, okay, this conversation is over. So I'd be like, delete. What the yep. fuck? I don't give a fuck about these I'll... men. This one time, huh. let me tell you, I was on FaceTime. This one day with one of my hosts, right? We on FaceTime. I'm like, oh my God, we are, I'm I'm giggling about some shit. He's like, oh, let me see. I'm like, okay, let me share my screen, right? Share my I forgot it was on. So like 10 minutes later, I forgot it was on. So I go to text my hoe. I'm my hoe back. He's like, yo. I'm like, what? <laughs> he said, like, you knew that was on? I said, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, 
I just see who you were texting. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. No, you didn't. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Imagine it was in your dreams, baby. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't shit. And then oh, if I'm talking shit God. about a man. <laughs> and if I'm talking shit about a man, I'll screenshot it. Because, you know, sometimes they're trifling. They say stupid shit. So I'll screenshot uh-huh. it. I'll go and send it to my bestie. Bitch, I send it right to them. Uh-uh. Yeah. How the fuck did you do that? Because I'm stupid. How the fuck did you do that? Because <laughs> I be texting like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Damn. Mm. I ain't shit. But I, I admit this. I ain't shit when I ain't shit. Yeah. And at least, at least you're taking accountability. And at least you oh, own yeah. up to your shit. At least you ain't like most motherfuckers act like they so innocent. They don't do this. Right, I'm like, don't act. I'm like, did this guy? I'm like, don't sit there and act like you. Yeah, I think I did it two times with him too. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Wow. I think I just lagged a little bit. I'm sorry, you said what, hon? I lagged. Never have I ever been in a physical fight. Oh yeah, I don't fight no more. I don't fight no more, but I've been into some fights, child. But I don't fight no more. I'm too old to be fighting. I ain't got time for that. Now nah, I'm just running the I... bitch over. I ain't fighting. <laughs> she said GTA. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> right? Thousand but, um, points, pop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I ain't arguing. I ain't doing none of that arguing shit no more. No, none of that shit. Like, that's too much of my energy, baby. Just you better get out of my way. Don't let me get in my car. Yeah. Period. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I feel like I don't even want to fight anymore because last time I fought, I gave a bitch a concussion and they threatened me. And I was like, they threatened me to like dare. They put me in four years of anger management. I was like, you know what? Four fucking years? Yeah. How the fuck you get four years, years of anger management? I think it's because my mom, she like they knew who my mom was. So I think when they see me up in there, they were like, oh, bitch, not another, not another one. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was like, no. But oh, she was a good therapist. Then? Yeah, she was a good therapist, though. I was her favorite. <laughs> Made her cry on accident. Right. Yeah. But did anger management change you, though? Yeah, I don't fuck bitches up. I, you know, like, my temper is better. I shut the fuck up. Like, mm. my thing is, if you talk shit to me, just know if you make me black out, you're getting fucked up. So let me walk away before you even do that. And then if you talk shit after that, if somebody doesn't tell me no, and I just black out, I'm sorry, you getting curve stomped. But that's the old me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the old me too. Like, I I used to black the fuck out. I didn't give a fuck about nothing, life or nothing. But when I did anger management, I had to do anger management I didn't do anger management long. I want to say it was at least three. It was either three or six months. And that was... Did you like it? So, I, it worked for me. Worked for me I too, think shit. first before I react. Yeah, me I too. think first I'm before like, I react. I used to react before I think. I'm like, yeah. do I fuck this bitch so up yeah. right now or not? Nope. Exactly. Bitch, do I, do I choose to walk away or do I choose to go to jail? Which one? I'll walk away, but I'll side eye. <laughs> like, bitch, you lucky. We're yeah, going to do a co- quick commercial break. And we'll be right back. Okay. We're going to do a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. Okay. It's the lagging for me. Experience top notch. I know. I don't know why it's lagging. Wherever so hard. you are, diverse styles. Your it, I feel like it wasn't lagging until we got up North in Carolina here. specializes in braids, sew-ins, plaits, and locks. Follow at Diverse Styles LLC on Instagram and book your appointment today for a fresh and fabulous look. Never have I ever forgotten someone's birthday. Every fucking day of my life. I think I did. I don't know who, but somebody. Yeah, I don't know who either, but I forgot their birthday. 
but they'll mm-hmm. be all right because I when I did remember I said happy birthday shit. Mm-hmm. It's all that matters. And they probably didn't say happy no, birthday to me, so exactly. So it's probably why I forgot, bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Never have I ever sung karaoke in front of a crowd. If you ain't do that before, I don't know what to tell you. I want to. No, I just had. I, I need better friends. These people don't want to do nothing in front of me. I'm about to do it by myself. You never did fucking karaoke? No. What in the I don't drink, part? though. That's my thing. I don't really drink, so I don't go out like that. Girl, you can do it high. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't do it on mushrooms. <laughs> oh, you in. How the fuck will you survive <laughs> on mushrooms? Like, when you when you on a mushroom, baby, you supposed to be vibing, chilling. I ain't. Finna I do be vibing shit. and chilling, but I have ADHD, so my ass will. I'll be. Let's get some karaoke in for thirty minutes and let her go back and do my baby. Do my I did that shit. I was in my house. My friend and her um boyfriend came over. And we was playing the game and shit before the shrooms had kicked in. And then when the shrooms kicked in, it was over. Bitch, he was the DJ playing all his all his music on motherfucking YouTube. And I was like, this you? He <laughs> like, like yeah. <laughs> it sound good. <laughs> that shit sound good. Like, it's like, okay, all right. And I was just like laying there stuck, bitch. And I, I was like trying to tell myself, like, oh my fucking god, I want to give up, get up, but my body feels so heavy. So it's like it's just lay here and just accept the shit. So it's like we started, like I say, six, either five, six or seven, because I remember us working that day. So I think we started like seven or eight. Cause we used to get off like four or five. So I'll say we start like seven or eight, like the highness ain't started wearing off until like two in the morning. Mm-hmm. That should be like that. And Last I was, time I did scream, like, I thought, I, I felt like, cause I'm, I'm half I native. So like, I felt so at peace with my ancestors. I'm looking at the wall. I'm like, it moving. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yo, this is it for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then they was like, well, you see shit moving. I ended up looking down my hallway and I was like, I see the wall going like this. Like wiggle it a little bit, right? It don't really do nothing. When I first did rooms for the first time, I'm like thinking it's gonna be like acid type shit. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to see shit. I'm about to be the Lulu. No, she Me said, too. I thought I was gonna see dead people and shit. Not dead people. She said, I see dead people over here, bitch. <laughs> Get to read you for it. I thought I was gonna see dead people. I remember her boyfriend got my dog. Her boyfriend just holding my dog and kissing on my dog to my, I love you. You're so beautiful. I'm like, this, that's the dog. <laughs> it's so he was like, my back. I was no. like, can I get my dog back, bitch? Bitch, he was like, no, you have to talk to the animals. I was yeah. like, oh, bitch. <laughs> it's like, I'm on one of these. I ain't going to. Uh-huh. Ne- um, never have I ever gotten a tattoo. Baby, I got 16. My tattoo up the ass. My favorite tattoo is my knee tattoo. Your knee, what's on your knee? Krampus. I can't show it, but it's Krampus. Krampus, like the, it's a Christmas thing. Okay. It's a whole knee cap. Um, that ain't hurt, bitch. That's nothing but your bone. That fucking hurt. But I took that shit like a mm, champ. It hurt. Mm-hmm. I'm rubbing my knee. It's like I feel a shit. I know that I, shit. I'm trying to think, do I got a favorite tattoo? I don't have a favorite tattoo. I just got shit on me. Do I be forgetting sometimes? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't have a favorite tattoo. Yeah, I don't have a favorite tattoo. My knee one's only my favorite because it's like, damn, that's my knee. That shit hurt. Yeah. Yeah. You you had to be high. You was high when you got it. No, I was manic. Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, fuck this, let's go. Never have I ever broken a bone. You broken a bone before? I never broke a bone. Knock on wood. 
Only my only my toes. <laughs> How the fuck you break your toes? Yo, first of all, my mother did it. She, I fell down the stairs. This bitch, my fucking one toe is like weird. I want to get surgery on it. <laughs> How the fuck? Yeah, she she ain't shit. And then my first dog she trampled me when I was outside barefoot and just did the other one. Yeah. Well, you're yeah. just a toe breaking motherfucker, huh? I know my one foot's ugly. Everybody's like, go sell your feet. I'm like, what, bitch, where? <laughs> no, where? <laughs> Nobody don't want no feet. <laughs> Nobody, no, my cousin and my brother, dead ass, they used to look at me and be like, what are toes? Like, dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> bitch okay that's why you all chin ho yeah I used to get her no that's why you all chin I can't even wear flip flops <laughs> oh shit you got more socks with flip flops yeah they got me insecure as fuck that's uh, yeah, that song that's about me <laughs> Never have I ever gone on a blind date. I think I did. Yeah. I think I did when I was younger and I was too mad because a bitch glasses was thicker than mine and I wasn't wearing glasses. <laughs> <laughs> like a grandma. <laughs> Nah, I want to go on one. Maybe that's how I meet my soulmate. Girl. Nah, but what if my friends think I got, I like, bad taste? Was he ugly? She, he, whatever it is. You ain't heard the fuck I just said? His no. motherfucking glasses was thicker than mine. And I ain't wear glasses. He, be sexy. <laughs> <laughs> he was. Bitch, <laughs> you ain't listening to the words that are coming out of my mouth. I'm trying to be nice about it. The glasses. Hint, hint, the glasses. <laughs> oh, no. God forgive me. That's not they ain't shit for that. No, they ain't shit for setting you up with an ugly man. The girl, that's, you know, that's what they do. They give you the ugly one when they want to go out, when they want to go out with their boyfriends and shit. So they be like, oh, bring one for my home, girl. No, bitch. <laughs> I'm going out if he ugly. If I'm walking out and my bitch is like, and I look at this man and he ugly and she wants me to spend the whole night with him. She better be cash after me something. I swear to God, bitch. You and your nigga better pay me. Fuck wrong with you. Yeah. Ew. You and, and he trying to hug with. me? Cut it. Cut it. We done. I remember him saying, why you ain't talking? What am I talking about? <laughs> Can you even here. hear me for us? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just here, Mr. Star. I'm just here. Don't worry about here getting to know dinner. me. No, nothing. Yeah, let's just enjoy this moment. We we both know that we're just here for them to. You here for he your home? You, I'm here for my home. He asked you if he yes. was going to see you again? Uh-uh. They love to do that when they know they're not seeing me again. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no. <laughs> I didn't get a conversation when we was on my date, so no, you cannot. They asked for my phone number. I think I gave them the wrong fucking number. You know, that's when we had house calls <laughs> then, baby. When <laughs> that's funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> she said we had help. I would have bop if he would have called me like. No, baby, that's when you just you just switch up your last four. You just give them the wrong number. Fuck at lion. <laughs> Never have I ever cried during a movie. I'm a fucking crybaby. Yep. I'm a crybaby. I be hard as fuck. I seem hard as fuck, but I'm a fucking crybaby. I'm a crybaby. It's always the fucking hard ones that are soft, low key. <laughs> I'm a fucking crybaby. Cry dog movie. And they die. I'm like anything. Somebody getting mistreated or uh, anything. Bitch, I'm crying. I be crying on love and hip hop. I be crying. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I was hard. That I, <laughs> I can't remember what I was. Wait, wait. I don't know if you want if you're into the Bridgerton series. Have you seen that? 
the who Bridgerton series no what is that uh, it's like this like Victorian, like I don't know it's kind of a horny tv show but it's on Netflix so okay I was watching it the other day I swear to god I was trying not to cry and there was nothing dramatic happening <laughs> The one time I was watching, ooh, I fucked up with this one. I, I was watching Marley and Me with my my first dog. I was like fifteen, right? Uh-huh. We're skipping. I'm skipping like school this day. I'm like, yeah. So we watching this. Spoiler alert: the dog dies. I'm fucking looking at my dog. I'm like, don't every day. I'm tears. I'm like, oh. <laughs> that was my baby. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear something that I cried about on Love and Wait, I cried on Love and Hip. I cried, damn, I cried Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and Love and Hip Hip Hop Miami. You want to know the scenes that I cried? I'm talking about, and yeah. I was hard down crying to when my, when my girlfriend grabbed me and was holding me. Bitch, I was hard down. No, <laughs> <laughs> she needed some cuddling. Oh my god, oh my god. tell me the scenes. Okay, so. Love the loving hip hop when um Miami when I cried when um Elijah um was talking about I think it was the scene with her and her daughter and she was like telling her daughter how much she loved her and stuff and I went to cry and I was like oh, I wish my mom would have told me that <laughs> right? no but it's the truth what I mean you know, I was I was hard now crying because I was like I wish my mama would have told me that. My mama may never tell me that. We need to hear right. this. <laughs> right. And then my second Love and Hip Hop Atlanta is when Spice and um Rena, when they did their little healing journey type thingy. You seen that one? I was crying. I was crying. I like the 11 season and no, but if it was before then, then probably, but I just don't remember it to be honest. Yeah. The 11th, yeah. Game of Thrones. I was crying. Game of Thrones. Which last crying? season, bro. Because I'm just going to say right now, I'm a whole Game of Thrones fan. I don't give a fuck. I'm right to die up in this bitch. I went from season one all the way to season eight, right? I was I was right to die. They were like, oh, this season's bad, this and that. I was like, oh, it's okay. They killed my main bitch, Daenerys. Spoiler alert for everybody. Daenerys, don't even watch the last season. They killed my baby. I swear, I swear. I said, I paused the scene. I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I cried for a whole half an hour. My dog's about to come over here. She thinks I'm crying. I swear. I was like, this is crazy. I ain't never cried that hard. Is he the one, like the fine man? No, she like, she's like the one oh, with the blonde me. hair. Yeah, she has blonde mm, hair. Girl, I, don't I don't know. I just, I she, just thought the. Man. Listen, anybody, if I was to go lesbian, it would be for that bitch right there. I swear to God. Some cooch for her. <laughs> oh, I don't, know some cooch for her. I don't know if it would be good, but shit, I try. No, 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 not eat some cooch for her. I cannot stand you. Okay. <laughs> Never have I ever dyed my hair a crazy color. I'm native. We, uh, I love don't. my hair. I can't be doing all that. I dyed my hair. I dyed my hair pink before. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, me too. You dyed your hair pink. So you had to take a shot. Died. Wait, you was that press? Yeah, I had virgin hair for the longest. It was nice. It was like 30 inches. I said, bop, cut, hair dyed. Oh, because your dog like, died? You daddy props. Yeah, but I love her. She died in a traumatic way. Um. Yeah, I was like, that's and meanwhile, baby. I just look. Meanwhile, I dyed my hair because I got out of a fucked up ass relationship and got into a happy relationship. So I transformed. And you over here dying your hair because your dog died. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my baby. <laughs> I don't have kids. No, I, I got a dog. That was my kid. No, I got a dog, so I understand. I understand. I just don't want to experience that. I don't want to. Experience oh, I John, that. I would John I, Rick a hoe for my dog. I don't want to experience the dying dog. I don't. She be getting on my nerves, but she is like a child, so yeah. Mm-hmm. 
We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Are you ready to show off your success? Elevate your style with our range of apparel and accessories. From small to 5XL, we've got your shirts, hoodies, and tumblers to match every size and taste. Shop your favorite items today at successful-toy.square.site slash and let your success shine. Okay. <clears throat> Never have I ever tried a food that I didn't expect to like and end up loving it. I did. No, because I don't fucking like beans. People be trying to put me on beans. I'm like, bitch, this is nasty. A uh who? -huh. Green, like not green beans, my bad. What is like the nasty brown beans? Big brown beans? beans? Yeah, I can't do that. Um, um, lima beans, lima beans. I can't do that shit either. I I did it so much when I was younger, till I was forced to eat them. Till I won't eat them. I won't eat green lima beans. I won't eat the white lima beans. Bitch, I ain't eat nothing that's lima. And I, yeah, no, <laughs> oof. And I tried our. You like you said you don't like avocado, right? No, only okay. The only way I eat avocado, like my mom, God rest her soul, she used to make avocado with um Italian dressing, but real Italian dressing. So I, I eat it like that, but I'm I'm not an avocado girl now. Me neither, and I tried it, but let me keep it honest. I can't remember if I like it or not. But I just don't like it because it's green and mushy, and it reminds me of shit. Like it looks like kid diarrhea, yeah. and I'm not eating that. You know what I want to try? I seen Jada Waiter eating it. It was on a piece of bread, but it, the bread was like toasted, and I can't remember what else she had on it. And she had avocado on it too. I don't know if it was bacon, tomato, or avocado. It was something, but that shit looked good, and I was like, I want to try that shit. It's probably like avocado, try. like um, tomatoes, and like the cheese. Mozzarella. I think that's what it was. It, it that looked good. I wanted to try that, but my first thing that I never would have ate, and then I tried it, and I fucking love it, and I still eat it to this day. Is fucking oysters. You know what? Yeah, they chewy as hell. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. But I don't be chewing. I just swallow. They get you horny. Why? They don't get me horny. Everybody say that. I'd be like, well, what the fuck happened? Oh, really? I don't remember. This was yeah, like when I was 15, so. They don't do but shit I know... me. Well, that's shit. Maybe you got to chew. Yeah, maybe I need to chew instead of just swallowing it. Swallow? Let me tell my girl, go get, her, go get some oysters. Let me chew them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god we're nasty for real never have i ever cheated on a test there you go my fucking god of course fuck is you I talking about bitch school. yes i cheated on i swear to god this sit by oh, me I so i could cheat bitch you know fuck is you talk about yes i cheated on test I'll be like this. Though. Never oh, have I I'd be like. <laughs> no. What about you? Right. So why you taking your test? I'm like, let me let me cheat. That's why I needed the smart kids to like me. I'm like, let me. Uh huh. That's what I'm saying. When I when it came time in school and to take a test, I'm sitting by the smart person because bitch, I'm finna be. And oh, I hate when they used to be like this. Bitch, move. Bitch, if you don't move your hand, let me motherfucking cheat. Right. Like, why are you so mad that I'm stupid and you're smart? You won't let me. Like, bitch, help me. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. You don't. Like, you want to copy off my Right. Body, but you, you know you go past. Right. Never have I ever. Never have I ever been to a music festival. Yeah, I have. Actually. Yeah, I have. So, my Work music festival baby. I went. <clears throat> my music festival I went to was Rolling Loud 
and I would never go again. So that with that being said, I'm never going to no more music festivals. You know what? I be hearing that one's kind of bad. Bro, I got trampled on. I'm talking about imagine millions of people you trying because at Rolling Loud is so fucking unorganized. It's like you they got fucking 10 stages out there and your favorite artist who you going there to see might be way over across the other field over there on the other side while the other person over there so now you done seen one artist over here now you got to make your way all the way to over there so it's like the people that want to see that artist going over there and the people that want to see the artists that coming on the next stage coming this way so it's like everybody bum rushing each other and girl i got lost like it was like a fucking movie scene. It, me and my girl was holding hands, but like I was like somebody was like pressing their hand in my chest, not on purpose, but by like trying to get through the crowd and shit. So it's like you pushing the crowd and girl, the hand was in my chest to where I couldn't breathe. I lost her. I couldn't scream. I couldn't yell. I couldn't nothing. So it's like my vision was going blurry, but I end up like getting out of the way to where I'm now I'm catching my breath and then she ended up finding me girl it was scared the scariest moment of my life and I really truly feel like I had caught COVID there too because after Ooh. yeah after that I couldn't taste nothing for two weeks I was weak like I was fucked up so I was like yeah I'm not ever going to no more music festivals mm -mm. No, I ha I've only been to like the rock um, festivals, and you know what? If you fall, the one thing about those people, they gonna pick you up. Mm -hmm. So if the rock, you. okay. So is it is it different the rock festivals and the um, mosh mosh festivals or whatever they call? It? No, you see, they mosh? have a mosh pit. Yeah, they have like the mosh mm -hmm. pit, but I have too much anger issues. I really. Yeah, it's not for Girl, me. when I be seeing that, when I be seeing that, should I be like, okay, so this is when I first found out that I just, I ain't gonna even lie, I'm just finding out about Marsh Pits. It's like when you leave Florida, you found out about all this stuff. So <laughs> one of my coworkers at my old job, she came to work and she was like, had these bruises on her. So I'm like, who the you fuck she beating got you up? Um, cause she gay too. So I'm like, your girlfriend beating your ass. A bitch will jump her when she come to work, cause her girlfriend worked there too. But her girlfriend worked at nighttime. So I was like, bitch, who did this? Your girlfriend did this, cause bitch will jump her when she come to work. And she was like, Lafonda, no. And she <laughs> laughing at me, and I'm like, why are you laughing? I'm dead ass serious. She was like, no, I went to a marsh. I was in the marsh pit, and I was like, what the fuck is a marsh pit? And she was like, <laughs> not what the fuck is a marsh pit. You I mean, know you old. Rock, you know I mean, rap concert sometimes. Well, okay, so when the people jump in the middle of the like people move back and shit, and then they jump in the thing, that's a marsh pit. No, that's not a fucking yeah. marsh pit. Hell, because I found it. I found it. Seen one when everybody was jumping around and they pushing each other and shit. And she oh was telling me like, that's, 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 that's what she said. She was like, and one guy he punched me, and that's why I got the bruise right here. And I was like, bitch, you ain't fight back. She was like, La Fonda, you don't fight back, bitch. Oh, I ain't never going. Mm -mm, I ain't uh, going. Don't worry about me. it. Mm -mm, I don't nah, want to do that. I like to be in the front. Yeah, I'm gonna fight. You do that to me, bitch. We fighting. All fun is over, bitch. We fighting. I'm there and for the music. Like, no, not for mean nothing by it. Uh uh. Fuck uh, -uh. Some of them it. definitely mean something by it. <laughs> I hate to say it. Like, There's this one. But she said if they hit you hard. But she said if they hit you hard, they'll pick you up and be like, "I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry." At this point, don't pick. Don't touch me, bitch. Don't let me stay down here. Right, Don't like, apologize it's like they trying to pick you up after you on the ground, fucking knocked out, trying not to yeah. see the stars. Like, chill out. <laughs> so stupid. Never I can't have, do the mosh pits. Never have I ever lied about my age. Nope. Oh, okay. I know, dear babe. Yeah, me, me either, bitch. It is what I am. My age is my age, bitch. You fuck with me, you don't. I don't give a fuck. Right. I don't see no oh, problem. I'm fucking lying. I'm fucking lying. I gotta take a shot. <laughs> At least you were honest about it. <laughs> I'm fucking lying. I played this game with somebody and the questions was different, but that was definitely one of the questions. And back then I didn't I I just want to tell him I'm sorry because I didn't take a shot for that. Okay, so I think I was 
17. I was either 16 or 17. I'm going to tell you how far this lie went, girl. Oh, my God. I supposed to have been in prison, bitch. So, oh, no. I wanted to go to the club with my homegirls that was 18. We went as far as she's giving me her social security and her motherfucking birth certificate. To we went to the fucking DMV to get me a fake motherfucking ID card. <laughs> no, you guys did not. <laughs> oh my god, girl! We went. We went to the fucking DMV, and I'm using this girl stuff. And remind you, they have pictures of you if you have one, right or wrong. Girl, me telling them people, that is me. That is me. Baby, we ran up out of that motherfucking, oh, that DMV, because, baby, they called the police. And my homeboy, he ended up went, going to jail. God bless his soul. He ended up getting killed. But, girl... He ended up going to jail because it was like, bitch, you with these fucking minors trying. Y'all at the moment. He literally ass people trying to get a fucking ID. Like, have y'all lost y'all fucking mind? <laughs> bitch, when they told my mama that, I think my mama put me on punishment forever. <laughs> like, bitch, I don't even remember <laughs> when said, I came You home. never leaving the house again. That's some dumb Girl, kid shit, huh? That was some dumbass kid shit. Like, bitch, what made y'all think that y'all could pull one over at the DMV, bitch? That was crazy. Damn, we no, did some dumb shit. Show. Damn, I ain't know. You kind of forgot that story. Mm -hmm. <sighs> It'd be like that, never though. have I ever. Never have I ever got it a speeding ticket, bitch. I got a speeding ticket. Of course, I always get out of speeding tickets. I got a baby face. Okay. I'm I'm not a little. Mm -hmm. I don't want to pull no more. So yes, I have got plenty of speeding tickets, and my favorite speeding ticket was me coming from West Palm Beach, driving home to Miami, and I would listen to Rick Ross song. That's when the Port of Miami was out, and I would listen to Rick Ross. Rick Ross, I'm speeding, and bitch, <laughs> it was me in another truck. Me in another truck. And we was fucking speeding. And the police pulled me because that the truck was in the front and I was in the back. So the police pulled me. Do you know this dumb ass truck had a nerve to pull over and back up to come? With, now, remind you, we don't know each other. And I'm looking at the motherfucking truck like, bitch, you dumb. You got away. You literally came back to get a ticket? Cause the police was like, like I could have just been the one. I could have been the one that went bop, and you could have been the one that got pulled over. Like what? Exactly, bitch. Like what in the entire fuck? So yeah, I had got the highest speeding ticket of my life off that song. So that's when I realized that music do makes you speed. <laughs> yeah, I don't even be noticing. I be zoned the fuck out, but I get out of the ticket. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, that's how it was, too. It was like, bitch, I'm trying to get home. First, thank God I didn't get a ticket for drunk driving because I was fucked up, like I said, coming from motherfucking Palm Beach, driving back home to Miami because I had just hung out in Palm Beach, leaving the fucking club, got on 95. One thing about me, baby, when I get on the highway, bitch, I do the motherfucking dash, but because I'm trying to get to where the fuck I want to go, and I don't be want to be all day. I be so, sleeping. I'm like, I'm my news. Yeah, bitch, I put on my music and I tune the fuck out and I just get there. I think Rick Ross should send me my money back, though. <laughs> Play, hey, you the reason God, I got a fucking ticket, bro. Bitch, it's because of you I got a ticket. Never have I ever... Mm -hmm. Never have I ever got um gone scuba diving. I went scuba diving. I'm gonna drink some water since I ain't got no liquor. You know what? I've never done that. <laughs> oh my god, I went scuba diving in Mexico. I went scuba diving in Mexico. But my version of scuba diving, what I thought was we just put on some goggles and put our head in the water and look at the motherfucking fishes under the water. No, that's not scuba diving. That's not. Bitch, 
bitch, I mm, I thought I was gonna die. I was holding the motherfucking um the person that we had that was touring with us, bitch. He was like, hold on to me, bitch. I was holding him like this, bitch. And the man was like, you have to um, I can't breathe. You can't hold me that tight. I'm like, baby, <laughs> you got me in this cave. And you talk about this water is deep and it go miles and miles and bitch no, mm -mm. and you it's know, already. Think about the ocean too. The ocean, like eighty five, like percent, like not discovered. We know more about space than the ocean. Yeah, exactly, bitch. I don't know what's in this. And as I said, we was in a cage and it was already mm -hmm. bats in the motherfucking cage. So I don't know what's in this motherfucking water. And then he wants to my oh, it's fishes. Bitch, I see the fishes and I feel the fishes. But bitch, I don't know what else in here. I would have been low key because I've seen so much horror movies. I've been like, I would have been side eyeing the whole time. Like, bitch, <laughs> let something pop up. <laughs> when I tell you, I wasn't looking at shit, bitch. My head was like this. My girl was trying to show me shit. I was like, mm mm, mm mm, mm mm. <laughs> At least you did I'm, it, though. Okay, bitch. I'm focusing. I'm fucking focusing on the finish line, bitch. When are we finishing? Can you just take <laughs> me back to the finish line and come back to them, bitch? Because this tour seemed a little too long for me. If you look on my podcast page, I literally posted the motherfucking video of me holding that man like... <laughs> that shit was funny. Never have I ever accidentally said, I love you to someone. Mm -hmm. I did. Do, do you? I don't do that. I can't do that. I have too I did, many and I was like, trust issues. You wish you didn't? Bitch, I was like, what the fuck did I just say? I do not love this motherfucker. Why did I say that? You know what they be feeling so good, too, if you say that shit? And then they think they got you and shit. And they then they an hour whatever later. They fuck they want. Look, then an hour later, I ain't responding to no motherfucking texts or no phone call. And they be like, bitch, you just told me you love me. I don't give a fuck. I was lying. <laughs> I don't believe me. <laughs> that was me like 20 minutes ago. It's a different bitch now. Exactly, bitch. Who? That wasn't even me that said that shit. I don't remember that. But thing. let the people know. I, first of all, I want to say thank you for joining me on Successful Toy Podcast. Let the people know how to find you and what you got going on. So we're, we're just coming out with my um, podcast. We're rebranding it. So if you guys just want to follow, I think it's whole Honest on um, Instagram. My Instagram is xx underscore Alicia. It's A-L-E-S-H-I-A. -E my mom is a crackhead and spelled it funky. <laughs> she thought it was Rose. like fucking yeah you know like pink the single singer whatever yeah. i fucked that word up so bad but she thinks it's after her i don't know what that bitch's name is but it's, i don't think it's alicia i don't think it's spelled my name <laughs> but whatever <laughs> but yeah well, i want i want to say thank you for coming on do not disappear stay backstage once i end the show but thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you guys on the next episode thank you for joining us on today's journey with the successful toy podcast before we part remember to empower your success journey with our exclusive are you successful yes. merchandise and arm yourself with insights from our free ebook 10 things people don't tell you when you're running a business available on linktree forward slash successful toy podcast and if you've got a story the world needs to hear, we want to feature you. Reach out to us at SuccessfulToy at gmail.com to discuss becoming a guest on the show. Until next time, keep innovating, and here's to your success.